Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm your M Spheres, and today I will show you how to 3D model a phone stand like the one you saw in the beginning of this video in Autodesk Inventor. If you're not that familiar with the software or just new to 3D modeling in general, don't worry, I got you. We will be going over all the steps on how to model the stand and how to turn it eventually into a 3D printed part. Without no further ado, let's get right into it. Now that Inventor has opened, let's make a new project, select new, then new single user project, as project name will take something like phone stand. Let's save it somewhere. All right, we'll save it on the desktop in a new folder. We'll give that malware a name. All right, next and finish. So now we have our project folder. Let's go on to a new file. Click new file, then US English and then metric. We'll select the standard IPT. All right, so now we have our first .IPT file. Let's start by saving it first. We'll give it a name, let's say phone stand. All right, there we go. Then we're gonna make our first sketch. We'll select, um, let's say XY plane, yeah, all right. Take the line tool and create a rough image of what the phone stand will look like. Something like this should be fine. Then first we'll take the constraint commands and line it up to the center point like this all right then let's give this a 90 degree angle this too and make these two lined up parallel together and we'll give some dimensions let's say we'll make it four millimeters no let's see five five millimeters thick bottom two and let's say this little edge give it four millimeters in height and I'll make those four millimeters thick let's say the total length is about 90 millimeters and the height of about 80 millimeters. The only thing left to do is give it an angle and we'll give it a 45 degree angle. All right, now our whole sketch is constrained. We can't move anything, it's all blue. Now we can extrude it. So we'll take the extrude tool and extrude it about the width of our phone. It's 75 millimeters. All right, let's go. Now these two sharp edges, we'll have to do something about them because one, they're ugly and two, they're sharp. So we'll take the chamfer tool and select them both. And give them a distance of five millimeters. Then the next thing we want to do is give this some kind of angle all right we'll use a chamfer tool again but now we'll use the two distances so we can choose the distance accordingly let's say this distance is about 60 oh that's not right 61 and the other about 40 well maybe 18 16, yeah, 16 is about right. And then we'll do this again for the other side. Oh, oh we have to switch. All right. There we are. Apply. And let's go. So that looks 
a lot better. Now we're gonna do some weight reduction. So we're gonna make a hole over here and a hole over here. This gives it this will give it a nice designer look here. I'm gonna take the project geometry tool and now we can use an offset something like this and let's see we'll give it an offset of yeah, let's see 40 maybe 50 millimeters we don't want these edges to be too small otherwise it will give us a really hard time printing it there we go extrude it all the way oh All the way through. There we go. Alrighty, that looks kind of nice. Now we'll make another hole right there. We'll line it up in the center. An offset of, let's say, 40 millimeters. We'll give it a length of 50 and a width of let's see 52 make it a nice square and we'll extrude it again to the end right so now we have this good looking thing the only thing that rests us to do is to fill it everything yay let's take the fill up tool and start by giving these a nice fillet let's say about four maybe five millimeters all right these two okay and there we go All right, now let's take these. Oh no, first let's come for this one. We'll use the two millimeter, maybe three. Maybe three millimeters. I oh, know, let's say two. two. Two is fine. Give these edges all a filler. Let's give this one, let's say about four millimeters. And the other one, let's say about two. Yeah, that's great. That looks nice. Now, this is where the magic happens. Okay, I'm gonna take these two corners and give them a radius of about 15 and press apply. This looks pretty awesome. Oh, let's say we've made a mis let's see we've made a mistake here. This isn't right. All right, we'll go back to our first chamfers, this one, and let's take sixty millimeters and the other one also sixty millimeters. All right, that's fixed. Great. All right, so here's our final phone stand. It actually looks pretty awesome. You get the weight reduction kind of thing happening over here. A hole here, you'll save some filament. It's actually still strong enough. Guess, guess what, I tested it already. So yeah, it looks kind of awesome. But before we're gonna export it as a .stl file, let's first make a, a little render and make a, a like an assembly to see if, the, if it actually fits with a phone on it. All right, we'll first go to the color panel and let's use anodized black. I know this actually is only uh, used on metals, but it looks kind of nice in Inventor. So we'll edit and then we edit the color. We'll make the metal color uh, a 
dark dark gray kind of thing and then we'll give it a tint but a bit lighter let's say the same color and tint oh yeah that actually maybe a little bit lighter oh yeah that actually looks nice that looks great now we can use the view panel over here and mm, let's say realistic or shaded uh, doesn't really matter it looks kind of nice all right so that's our phone stand now let's go over to the file tab and make a new file now we go to metrics and we take the standard dot iam this will give us a standard assembly file so we can use it to build a phone on top of it all right so first we're gonna save it as our standard as our assembly just like this and then we're gonna import our phone stand so we're gonna place and here over here is our dot ipt phone stand file can up and there we have it now if we look at our home view it's kind of messed up so we're going to constrain it to the origin we have our xy plane let's constrain that to the bottom of the of the phone stand press apply and then let's see take the yz plane and constrain it to the left side of the phone stand apply all right i'm sorry so now we have our phone stand perfectly lined up the only thing we have to do now is import some kind of phone for that we'll go to a new chrome tab let's drag it over here and go to grabcat.com all right you'll have to log in with whatever let's say facebook or something I'll use Facebook anyway here's my account and then I'll go to a library the phone I'll be using will be the Samsung Samsung s10 plus all right let's see oh and guess what there is a model already by Hussein all right Hussein what you get for us we'll download the files let's extract them all all right there we go and now in this little file we can see here a dot stp dot step file all right the dot step file oh that was difficult anyway we're gonna use this one so we'll control c go to our project folder and just paste it in there then we'll just open it in inventor you gotta make sure you select all the files otherwise you won't be able to see them and you take the step file all right that's okay you just click okay and now you get your phone here the next thing you're gonna do is save it and save it as the s s10 plus all right there we go so now we get a dot, uh, an s10 plus dot IT, IPT file. We can close this. We can close the phone stand actually. Yes, we're gonna save it. And then we have here our assembly. Now we're going to place the S10 model. All right, there we have it. All right, now the only thing we have to do is constrain the phone to the model. All right, the only thing I'm gonna be doing is taking my own model, not really my own, but I colored it and it's it looks way nicer when it's all colored. So I'm gonna take my model. Either it has a black screen, it has a, a bluish back. Let's constrain this. We'll constrain the flat back surface to the little edge over here so we can rotate, kind of rotate around it and let's do this then we're gonna um, rotate uh, the phone because otherwise it's gonna be kind of hard to line it all up and make it something like this all right this this is fine all right that's that's fine now we're gonna take this little edge over here 
because it's all around edge and it's going to be hard to constraint otherwise. And we're going to constrain this edge to this one. So now you can see the phone is kind of getting into the going into the model and that's 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 not great we want to give it a more realistic yeah something like that all right now the model is is just sitting on top of the on top of the phone stand and now we actually well, all right can put it in the middle and voila, we have our final results. All right, guys, we're at the end of my very first video. In the next video, I will go over how to export a file to a .stl file, and I'll show you guys my printer settings for this model. All the files I used in this video are linked in the video description, as well as a link to the Thingiverse file if you just want to print the model. That said, thank you so much for watching. Please consider to like and subscribe. It would help me out tremendously. See you guys in the next video.